Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and use Discord on Linux, regardless of what Linux distribution you end up using. So when it comes to installing software on Linux, in 99% of cases, you've been installing it using your distribution's package manager. However, often when it comes to installing proprietary software, this is not always an option. So the next logical step you'd want to do is to visit the developer's website and see if they provide an installer for Linux. And you might be pleasantly surprised to see that there actually is an option to download for Linux on Discord's website. However, if you click on this link, you'll see there's two options. You have a deb and a tar.gz. Now the dev file is an installer for Ubuntu based distributions, whereas the tar.gz is an archive file. So for example, if you're running a Ubuntu based distribution, then you can install Discord by downloading and running this dev file. However, if you use something such as Fedora that doesn't typically ship proprietary software in their repositories, then you have to install it slightly differently, and in most cases you'd be using what's known as the RPM Fusion, which is a third-party repository. Now that being said, there are some distributions out there that do include Discord in their default repositories, and some examples of that include Arch Linux or Manjaro. Now on the other hand, of course, you can download and extract the archive, which will allow you to run Discord manually from your extracted folder, but this is a very clumsy way of doing it, since Discord will not integrate into your application launcher. However, there is now a brand new, officially supported method that allow you to use Discord, regardless of your Linux distribution choice. And that way is to use the Discord Flatpak. Now this was originally unofficial, however, within the last couple of days, the developers of Discord have now officially supported this installation method and they've verified the Flatpak. However, before we install Discord, we need to first enable Flatpak support for your system, which is dead easy, to be perfectly honest. All you need to do is find the distribution you're using off the list of their website. So for example, I'm using Ubuntu, so I click on the Ubuntu icon, and then really just a matter of following instructions from here. Now, I'll just point out that Ubuntu does ship with its own universal packaging format, which is Snap. However, this will not conflict with Flatpak in any way, as both these packaging formats will peacefully coexist. In fact, some Linux distributions have Flatpak support enabled by default, and some examples of that is Pop! OS and Linux Mint. So if you're using one of those, then you don't even need to do this step, you can skip it. So now that Flatpak support is enabled, it's time to install Discord. And all we need to do is click on this big blue button here. And what this will do is open up the installer in your distribution's application center. So for example, if you're using Ubuntu or Fedora, we're going to be using GNOME software for that. If you're using Kubuntu or any other distribution that uses KDE Plasma as a desktop environment, then more than likely it's going to be KDE Discover. There are other ones out there. For example, if it's uh, Manjaro, you'll be using PatMac. But in most cases, it's either going to be GNOME software or KDE Discover. So alternatively, you can install Discord using terminal commands. So the way that you do that is you click on the little blue down arrow, and then just copy this command here into the terminal and run it. But in either case, once the installation process is finished, simply launch Discord as you would as any other application. So once you've signed into your account, as you can see, the interface of Discord is identical to what you would, what you would typically see if you're using it through a web browser or even run it natively on Windows. All of your text and voice channels are on the left-hand side as normal. Uh, instant me messaging works, live streaming works. In fact, the only limitation that I have found is that if you're playing a game, it won't actually show that on your profile. Although very strangely, if you're playing music through Spotify, for example, it does appear. So I'm not quite sure on that one. It's possibly something to do with the way that the Flatpak works. In fact, if you want to read more about the Flatpak version of Discord, then you can find some more information on the official GitHub page, as well as instructions of how to get this to work with Wayland if you use that as your display server. But in either case, with that, you now know how to install and run Discord on almost any Linux distribution. And with that, we're all done. So, in conclusion, now that Discord is available as a flat pack, then it means that no matter what Linux distribution you decide to go with, you're always going to have access to the latest version. In addition, Discord now being provided as a flat pack means that you also have further control over how much access the application has to your particular system. But in either case, thank you very much for watching today, guys. And if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you haven't already, please, Please subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye now.